M0FXB, welcome to my channel, playing around with Chirp today. So today, this is the Chirp Daily, the normal one. There is a new one here called Chirp Next. I'll put the link in, but I'm using the current one and we've got our Bofeng here. And we've got Chirp open already. Now you do need to connect your cable. So you just right click, USB Bofeng cable, uh, device manager, and then just check the in port. You've got your COM number, which is COM10, look, USB serial CH340. Uh, you can get yourself a Bofeng lead. We'll try getting one of those all-in-one leads. They're quite good. Anyway, so open up the program. Just looks like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do, before we read the radio, we're going to go radio, query data source. And we're going to go to repeater book. Look, watch, query, then down, and then down again, repeater proximity. And let's go a bit wider. Let's go 50 miles, 60 miles, Okay. Uh, it could be kilometers, I'm not sure. Anyway, and we'll just do two meters for now. Click OK. And it should, yeah, it's found them there. So leave that there for now. Now we're going to leave that there for now. We're going to go radio. We're going to read from our radio, download from radio the one the channels that we've already got. Takes a couple of minutes, but this is, you know, it's great free software. And don't forget, it doesn't just do both ones. It does Yesu's icon, you know, several, several makes. So we've now got a new window. So this is, this is the repeater book that we just downloaded. This is our radio where we read it. So quite a few channels here I don't want to use. So what we're going to do, go back to repeater book. And this is the thing is you can't just click and drag down. You have to click, hold your finger on the up arrow or or the shift arrow, you can either select them all individually or just go to the bottom one and it will select them all. Now you can go right click, copy. Okay, now go over to your radio that you just downloaded, click the ones you don't want. We're going to click here and we're going to right click and paste. Right, then click yes to all. Click OK. It's going to give you some errors if things aren't quite what it wants them to be, but ignore that. So now we're going to go radio, upload to radio, same port, everything, click OK. And so now we've managed to delete some channels that we never use, add a few from using uh, the repeater book free software. And there is a website called repeater book, check it out. There's so much more you can do with that. You can even save this file. You don't have to have the radio connected all of the time to make some changes. You can make changes, then you can go file, save, save it somewhere where you're going to find it. Just click here. You've got column. I mean, it's like there's a lot of there's a lot you can do, but this this is just literally just a very quick import export into your both phone. Mine's a UV9, could be UV5. Very quick copy and paste. The main thing to remember about copy and paste is you do need to remember to hit the shift key. And if you've got some, if you look here, file. When it says when it says copy, look Control C, cut Control X, paste Control V. It says here, and then delete. These are quite common Windows things. So bye for now. Seven three. Catch you on air. All the best.